When I was a small child, I have fond memories of sitting outside of an evening and looking up and seeing what we used to call falling stars or shooting stars. We now know that those bits falling from the sky are actually mostly small fragments of rock, some larger pieces that are falling in from space and intersecting the Earth's atmosphere. So when we have a fragment of rock floating in space, we call that a meteoroid. And sometimes these meteoroids are quite large and sometimes they're the size of a grain of sand. When they fall into the Earth's atmosphere and we see them, we call them a meteor, a falling star. Occasionally when they make it all the way through the Earth's atmosphere, like the Huckabee meteorite here, and we can recover with them, we call them a meteorite. So when these objects fall in from space, they form a bow wave around the rock. So as they fall through the atmosphere, the air is compressed in front of them. And those molecules of air are heated up, and you can see this leads to the fusion-type crust we see on the outside of the meteorite. And it melts certain sections of the meteorite away. And sometimes when these objects are falling in, you'll see bits breaking away from the actual object when it falls through the sky as well. When large meteorites like this one, the Huckabee meteorite, are recovered, often they are sliced into sections. And the reason scientists do that is to be able to send fragments of this to other laboratories across the world in order to be able to study them. This particular cut we see here was done at Islington and it took some 130 hours just to make one cut through this meteorite. In fact, the cutting rate was about a centimetre per hour. Meteorites are fundamental to our understanding of the cosmos because before we sent people to the moon, they represented the only tangible evidence we had of the universe beyond.